All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of a review with this and at the same time kind of talk about it. This is the double O-ring uh, piston head from supposedly SHS and uh, uh, Super Shooter. This is supposed to be aluminum 7075. And the way this works is actually, uh, there's a little tiny O-ring right there. It's very tiny. And then there is, uh, or the diameter of it is tiny. And then there is another O-ring in the back. Now, I'm going to say a lot of these cylinders don't fit very well. And if they do, they give a lot of resistance. You see a lot of resistance right there. A lot of resistance right here. And you can see at some points I cannot even really get this installed very well or get it out. See this one won't install too much. That's even worse. This will not even install very well in there. The problem with having resistance like this is for pre-engagement issues. I mean you're piston's not moving so fast it's getting caught up and it starts to cause friction on your o-ring here makes the cylinder hot and it wears out the o-ring so this gets to be more and more useless because of the uh, diameter of this so um, as far as sealing this can give a really good seal but it's not very viable so I wouldn't recommend anybody to buy any more of these um, this is just not very good of an item now next thing is this set. Now you may have noticed this is the matrix full tune-up but without the cylinder. This is the cylinder it originally was. I switched it out because the o-ring and uh, piston head could not go through it very well. It would be uh, way more problematic and cause PE issues uh, at some point if you're working with a really high speed, mess your o-ring up, I already kind of talked about that. So this is the original O-ring to the air nozzle, and this is the one of the spares I threw in there. Kind of get a close up so you can see how different the size is. You can see right there that the other one's uh, smaller. Now, why did I switch this out? Is so that I could get absolute compression uh, with the previous stock one you could get air loss through here. Now what you do is you hold your tap-up plate forward like this and put your thumb or whatever finger over blocking the air nozzle and as you push the piston forward it should not move. Okay, look, I cannot move it. And you can hear the air exit. Now I'm not pressing down the tap plate or holding the air nozzle in place to block the cylinder head. If you do that, you're not testing the air ring, the O-ring right here. So I did a proper test for this uh, unit. Then you'd have to test with the hop up and so forth. But uh, what I'm demonstrating here is the dimensions. So the dimension here is really good. I don't know what cylinder this is. I don't believe it's garter because this is garter could be VFC. And here's the piston head for the matrix with the same o-ring. fits in perfectly. It fits so flushly. You can see how flushly that is. There's barely any resistance for me to move the piston. Okay, barely any resistance. That's what you want. At the same time, as soon as I block it, there's compression. Okay. Now the cylinder head did fit on there fine with the two o-rings, however I put Teflon tape in between. And I did that so you can kind of see the cutting of it. I uh, cut it but I went around once in between the two o-rings and it's way more solid. It did however have no air escaping but this made it more solid so it's a lot harder to move. While it's in the gearbox it's not going to really move anyways but uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to make it as tight as possible. so. That's good right there. So we can see here the air nozzle, the way it moves is more resisting. Now the way I got this in was I put the new o-ring in and I couldn't get this on. 
So if I was to take this off the cylinder head, you would see that I did some filing. I filed around the top of the cylinder head's uh, nozzle area, where, area like this, creating uh, a circular inward, um, I don't know how to say this, tube, so that you could put the air nozzle, slide it down. So I'm just going to go ahead and show that. So as you can see there, so I could make it, so I could slide this down over the top of it without uh, ruining the air nozzle. Does that kind of make sense? So you can see there, and then I put this on, and now, overnight, even with uh, the proper grease and oil, there is no air loss. This would be a really good set to put in something, um, especially if you upgrade the piston. So overall compression for this right here would be good. Very, very solid. And that's how you would work on this piece right here. Um, good thing about having everything fit flushly is that it maintains like that for a very long time. Um, this would be lasting, I would say, probably about half a year, uh, depending on how much you shoot. Um, and then the O-rings probably have to be changed out. Um, but as you can see, it, this is very awesome. This would be awesome in a set right here. So, um, like I said, don't look forward to this. I kind of figured it was a gimmick and not too great. But this would be nicer right here. Just making everything fit and mesh together very well. Uh, as you can see, this would be a very good air seal. Um, then you'd have to mess with the bucking and the hop-up chamber and so forth. In the barrel just to make sure that everything else is a plus. Zach out.